Alright, what is going on guys? It's your boy White Album here and welcome back to some more Tsukihime, a piece of blue glass moon. Last time we left off, we met with the homegirl CL, the girl Satsuki, and the homeboy Arihiko. So let's see, it's the end of the day, and we'll see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. So let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Mm. I love how fast this game loads. Holy shit. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> Let me do this. School comes to an end for the day. I look over the schoolyard from my, uh, from my seat, unable to will myself back into the mansion. I don't blame him. <laughs> the classroom, dyed a red-orange by the sunset, looks like a watercolor painting. It makes my eyes throb a little. There's something about Vermilion that's unsettling. As the hue pierces my eyes, I'm hit with a wave of nausea. I guess I have trouble with uh, trouble with anything that reminds me of blood. The reality is, I've grown weak to it. What is it? Uh, hemophobia, I think it's called. The the fear of blood. Seven years ago, I was on the verge of death. I was caught in a terrible accident, a building collapse. My wounds were so severe that most people thought I didn't have a chance. Luckily for me, all my injuries were focused in one place, and my doctors were able to get me uh, get to me fast. It almost feels like it happened to someone else, thinking back like this. There's a lot I still don't know about it. So he has like somewhat amnesia. Something struck with my chest with such force that it impaled me. I passed out immediately. Like a machine that had a uh, plug pulled. All I remember after that is the pain and the cold. When I woke up, I was in a hospital bed. The scar still remains on my chest. From what they told me, I not only hit my back hard, but a piece of glass pierced my chest as well. That's how I got this burn like scars from my chest and back, or on my chest and back. When I was finally when I was finally able to look at the wounds, I almost passed out from the sight of them. Ever since then, I've been prone to bouts of an uh, uh Anemia. I've caused lots of trouble for people around me, collapsing suddenly all the time. I assume that's why Makihi, uh, Makihisa Tono, my father, decided that I wasn't healthy enough to be his heir. Chest. Oh, hold on me. Audio just a tad smidge, if I can hear it. Do that for my PC as well. Okay, here we go. Ah, my chest. <clears throat> I hold down the urge to vomit. I breathe deeply, waiting for the needling in my eyes to subside. A mark of death, hidden under my school uniform. I've been able to see the lines ever since the accident. It's only thanks to the glasses Master gave me that I kept some semblance of a normal life. Without them, I'm sure I would have gone mad a long time ago. Keiko was worried that the tones weren't normal when we said goodbye this morning, but there was no need. The reason being, I'm hardly normal myself. I pushed my glasses back up, the bridge of my nose, uh, back up the bridge of my nose and grabbed my bag. I can't stay in the classroom forever. I wander around the school, go back to the manor. Well, since we kind of don't want to go to the... Uh, oh, that's a little... ah, let's just go straight to the manor. Why not? Why not? Let's stop wasting time, Shiki. Let's go home. My path home is different from the one I took yesterday. It leads me from the compact middle-class neighborhood to where large, expensive houses line the street. Every step brings me closer to the Tono Mansion. The area isn't completely unfamiliar to me. It may have been seven years ago, but I have vague memories of this place from when I was ten. It's a strange feeling. This path feels both new and familiar at the same time. I climb up a long hill. The rows of houses disappear from view. The smell of greenery tickles my nostrils. I may be in the middle of the city, but this place feels anything but modern. Almost everything from here is, uh, from here on is owned by the Tono Estate. 
The mansion I lived I lived in until the age of 10. The only things left for me there are old memories and relatives I never got along with. Though now, only one close relative remains in the mansion. Makihisa Tono, the father that hated me so much, passed away the other day. My mother died from an illness the year Akiya was born. So the only Tonos left in my- uh, the only Tonos left will be my sister and I. As the eldest son, I would have taken over as the head of the family, but I no longer have that right. Being the Tono heir means a restrictive and uh, cloistered childhood. I don't know how many times I was told off by my father for trying to escape all that. That's why when I left defective, oh, oh, that's why when I was left defective after my accident, he took the opportunity to cast me out. I'm sure he felt that even though I was his, uh, the eldest, he couldn't leave the family in the hands of someone who can kneel over dead any moment. To my father's surprise, I recovered. But Akia had already been chosen to the next heir of the Tono family. Akia had been raised as the prized daughter of the Tono, but after my accident, she had endured a harsher education befitting her new station. We played along together in the garden until I was 10, but I've never seen her once since then. And now it's been seven years. I wonder how the Tono Mansion has changed. I won't have to wonder for much longer. If anything, if anything should come to mind now, it would be... We got one, my father, my sister, someone else I played with as a kid. Ooh. Do we know? I don't know, so let's click that one. There were actually quite a few people living in the mansion, other than Makihisa and Akia. The number of relatives occupied the main building. The servants, on the other hand, stayed in a separate one. They're vague, but I do have memories of playing with children other than just Akia. I seem to recall. No. I can't quite remember. A lot of people came in and out of the mansion back then. According to Keiko, Makihisa was trying to aggressively expand the business at the time. She said it was so busy back then, it would be a strange it would be a stranger if I did remember anyone. But right now, I guess the old man comes first. Memories of my father spring to mind, though I don't recall us doing anything together. Makihisa was a strict father. He was quiet, rarely showing much emotion. Do not leave the house. Do not go into town. Always remember that people are born into their statuses, and those without our noble blood are of inferior stock. Such was the ethos of Makihisa and the Tono family at large. I rebelled against their principles. I felt my father's teachings were wrong. It wasn't from any fault of his logic, though. He just couldn't convince me that his beliefs were right. They seemed strange, but they fell behind the times, even as a child. Most things like that are behind the times. I wasn't the only one who, dis uh, who disagreed with Makihisa, but I was the only one who did it to his face. As a result, I often left the manner in contempt of its rules, which ultimately led me, uh, led me to my accident. The world that lies beyond the manor is an unsightly place. It is a hemlock of the mine. How ironic. In the end, my father was right about that in a way. After waking, uh, waking up in the hospital, he never came to visit me, not even once. My last memory of him is the day I was discharged from the hospital, the day he commanded me to stay with the Arima family. And now, that he's, and, oh, and now he's gone. Not seeing my father before he died doesn't particularly bother me. That must speak volumes about our relationship. True. It's like people like that just forget that their children are their own people and not a, not a, you know, and not a copy of themselves, you know. The main gate is shut tight. I remember thinking it was big when I was a child, but after living in a normal house, I realized just how massive this place is. The mansion sits on a high hill overlooking the city giving the Tonos a view of all they control. The grounds are alone are bigger than my high school. They include the forest behind the manor, and it's easily tripled the size. Surrounding the perimeter is a wall of trees and a long fence preventing outsiders from peering inside. 
The entrance at the main gate is closed, turning away those who would seek entry. Next to the massive gate for car uh, next to the massive gate for cars to pass through, there's a smaller door for people. I hesitate for a moment before pressing the call button. It doesn't make any noise as I push it. After a few seconds, the lock opens with a welcoming click. Huh. This door's automatic now. I remember a guard used to stand here. I open the heavy door and pass through the stone gate. The door gets a satisfying clunk behind me, locking itself again. I make my way along a gently sloped path deeper into the grounds. The walkway, surrounded by tall trees, was almost like a tunnel. It stretches 40 meters east, then turns at a 90 degree angle to the north. Memories flood back with, memories flood back with each step I take. I know this path. I've walked it many times. Just a little further. I reach the corner. My feet guide me toward the north. The rest of my body falling closely behind. Then, on the left. That's a big fucking house. The Tono Mansion. It's great white walls standing at attention. You even call that a mansion, bro? That, that's like a whole, like, facility. <laughs> a sigh escapes my lips in a combination of wonder and uh, resignation. The mansion looks like it did back then. According to my father, the building has been the same since my grandfather inherited from his grandfather, though it was repaired once after the war. For the past few centuries, it's been a seat of power passed from one generation to the next. This is a holy ground for Makihisa, no, for all those re uh, related to the Tonos. I remember seeing different adults vying for a piece of it, currying favor with the old man while staying at the mansion for the yearly family meeting. They were all extremely successful business people with their own fancy homes, but for whatever reason, they were obsessed with the Tono Manor. Do you, I mean, do you not fucking see it, dude? That thing is jamungous. <laughs> Getting to live there must have been a point of pride for them. It all sounds ridiculous. It's just a big fancy house to me. I've never been comfortable with being privileged. Sate. Ah, guess it's time. There's no going back now. A small doorbell is placed at the next to the comparatively large double doors. I shake off my nerves and ring the bell. I think I feel like a stranger in your own home, right? <laughs> there is no familiar ding-dong. The heavy silence continues for a few seconds. The sound of hurried footsteps come from the other side of the doors. We've been eagerly awaiting for your return. I think that's... Uh, Kohaku. The doors swing open with a surprising ease for their size. I narrow my eyes at the waning afternoon light streaming from the windows. I had meant to prepare myself for the sight, but my breath catches as I look over the gigantic lobby. What astonishingly beautiful architecture. It feels like I've traveled to a different country in a different time. The look of the mansion is so old-fashioned, even the very air itself seems foreign. Even so, the lobby still feels familiar. Hey, it's Kohaku. I find myself frozen as the girl who answered the door stands before me, dressed in traditional attire. Oh, thank goodness. It's so late I was worried that you'd gone lost. I was going to go looking for you if you hadn't arrived by sunset. The girl, wearing an apron over her kimono, smiles brightly. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I... I find myself speechless at this unexpected welcome. 
I was expecting the stony-faced man who served as my father's assistant and Bullard to be the one to greet me. No, they executed that man. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just pulling that out of my ass. Don't believe me on that. That'd be insane though, right? It's like, your work is done. And then a bullet to the back of the head. <laughs> hmm? The girl tilts her, uh, tilts her head, wondering, uh, likely wondering at the reason for my hesitance. You are Master Shiki, aren't you? Uh, uh, yes, uh, though you really don't have to call me Master. I knew it. Please don't scare me like that. I thought I had messed up again. He's like, I don't want to be here. So, yeah, of course, of course you would have thought that, you know? The girl wags her finger at me like a mother admonishing her child. She seems genuinely upset with me for having worried her. Yet, even so, her smile never fades, nor does a warmth emanating from her. An apron draped over her kimono, coming to greet me and call me master. That must mean... Uh, excuse me, are you a housekeeper here by any chance? The girl answers my question with a smile. Well, I'm sure you're tired. Please come in. Feel free to have a rest in the parlor until Mistress Aki is available. The girl motions for me to follow her and begins walking. We move towards the hallway on the east side of the lobby, next to the giant staircase. I seem to remember that the parlor is just inside the hallway. I follow her quietly, call out to her and ask her name, the urge to explore the mansion. Did we do that? <laughs> should, should we just, uh, should we just be a little defiant? Like, I was like, I don't fucking want to be here, dog. Oh, let's call her name. I decided to call her out, or call out to her and ask her name. I can't just be calling her Miss Housekeeper the whole time. Uh, excuse me, can I ask your name? Uh, sorry, I'm I'm still just trying to get my bearings. I call out to her. The kimono-clad girl looks at me surprised. My name is Kohaku. I think that's Mistress Aki as personal attendant. The girl, Kohaku, gives a slight bow and, smile, and a smile. It's a lovely kind of gesture, somewhat invocative of a bud blooming into a flower. The girl leads me to the parlor. The parlor looks so much fancier compared to what I remember. It's like seeing it for the first time. And I'm just too used to how things were at the Arima family, that they just made this room more extravagant since I last was uh, since I was last here. Regardless, this place feels like someone else's home. And again, nothing like feeling like a stranger in your own home, right? <laughs> I mean, to be fair to Shiggy, it's been seven years, dog. And even then, like, you were only there since you were like, what? Till you were 10? Gone for another 17 years and now you're just coming back? 17, seven years? I should say. So yeah, you would definitely feel like a stranger in your own home. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? Especially if you never really got along with your father, you know? I look around the parlor restlessly. <laughs> you look like a stray kitty. I know how you feel, but please try to sit back and relax. This is your home after all. So, so it, yeah, you're you're right. Flustered, I lower myself onto the sofa. It's pathetic how overwhelmed I become simply from returning home. The kimono clad girl makes her way over to the car in the corner of the room and pours a cup of tea from it. She places a cup on a tray and carries it over to me. Here, 
Have some tea. Ah, arigato gozaimasu. Uh, thanks. I can't help but feel a sense of embarrassment. Being waited on such a with a being waited on with a sorry, with such a warm smile. I think that's just who I am. Rather than something that comes from living with a mere modest family. I'll go, I'll go check on Mistress Akio, so please wait here. Hmm, actually, it should take about 10 minutes, so feel free to have a look around the mansion if you like. Is it really okay for me to just wander around? This is your house too, you know. Please, by all means. Uh, though you won't be able to go up to the second floor while Mistress Aki is there. The first floor should be fine, however. I'm sure you must be over the moon to be back after seven whole years. No. <laughs> she smiles mischievously. Please excuse me. Kohaku gives a slight bow and leaves the room. Well, now what? My muttering echoes sadly through the extravagant parlor. Do I stay here sitting nervously? Or do I take a look around the mansion? I... Well, we did plenty of leg stretching at the school. Mm. Uh, let's just stay here. I think I'll just wait here. I don't think walking around would do much to calm me down. Regardless, this people in Akia should be my first worry. She is the head of the family now, after all. I spend my time sitting on the sofa. The courtyard I can see from the window is exactly how I remember it. You could fit four tennis courts on it. Behind the courtyard, there should be a mammoth garden. And past that, the forest. I remember. Oh. Oh. I thought I'd stop by before I returned. I didn't realize you were expecting a guest. I look back at the sudden voice and my breath catches in my throat. Standing at the door to the hallway connected to the lobby. I forgot about this guy. Is a strange man dressed in head to toe in black. Ah, hello there, Shiki. Welcome to the Tono Mansion. Oh, but I suppose in your situation, I should be welcoming you home. The man, who based on his voice I assume is in his 30s, enters the parlor like he owns the place. He's not a trace of color on him. Well, he's wearing purple. I don't know if that's not a trace of color. <laughs> His entire body is wrapped in black bandages. He looks like he stepped straight out of the mystery novel. Out of a mystery uh, novel, said the. Anata. Uh. And who are you? Hmm. Do you not remember me? Ah. So. Ha, I see. It is I, Goto Saiki. Who said it is I? Dracula. <laughs> we met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm not surprised you don't recognize me. I mean, let's be fair, like, like, my man's kind of dripped out, though. He's kind of dripped out, though, bro. He's got the purple pants, the purple belt. He's got the nice, pressed purple shirt with a black vest and that tie oof i bet she's rocking some nice like oxfords bro <laughs> 
Psyche. Was there a branch of family with that name? More importantly, this man. <laughs> it's alright. I'm quite used to the strange looks. I was burned in an accident. I have a difficult time going outside without these bandages. The sun is harsh on my skin, you see. Akia finds my presence disturbing as well. Though it is understandable. She is partially responsible after all. What the fuck did she do to you, man? <laughs> Goto Saiki walks over to the cart, pours himself a cup of tea, and brings it to his mouth. There's an air of pompousness to his movements, but none of it comes across as out of place. The man possesses a very natural composure. There's an elegance to everything he does. I have to say though, I'm surprised you had the audacity to come back here. Huh? <laughs> While your circumstances, Shiki, not only did you fail to follow M uh, Makihisa's orders to stay in the mansion, you ended up injuring yourself in that foolish accident. A failure. Yes, that's what you are. You ignore all obligations, waste every investment your parents put into you, and still dare to come back here to play big brother to Akio. What if he's like, I didn't fucking know who wanted me back, bro? So <laughs> Are you not ashamed of yourself? I repress the urge to stand up, sinking further into the couch or into the sofa instead. The contempt in Goto's eyes is obvious, but there's no reason to escalate things further. Besides, he isn't wrong. Oh? Nothing to say for yourself. No, what you say is true. I ignore my obligations. But don't you feel any shame spouting off about our family like that? I've chosen my words as precisely, or such as such precisely, because this is your family. Education is nothing more than an investment into the future of one's family. There is no such thing as freedom for those of noble blood. Yeah, Freedom. No. Perhaps we should call it self-awareness. One only has the right to it after learning to live for the family. You never understood your place. Compared to Akia, you are nothing. Though perhaps I should commend you, as few would have the gall to show their face here again. <laughs> ah, don't look so angry, Shiki. 
I'm merely stating an objective truth. I assure you, it's nothing personal. It sounds pretty fucking personal to me, dog. どちらかというと賛成派だし、そもそも遠のけ現当主の決定でもある。よそ者である私にどうこう言えることでもないだろう。I seem to have confused you. I'm not against your return. If anything, I'm for it. Besides, it's a decision by the head of the family. An outsider like me has no right to complain. Isn't that right? An outsider? He isn't part of a branch family? The Psyche and Tono House has been on equal standing since my grandfather's time. In modern terms, I suppose you could call us business partners. We finished discussing new arrangements today. The meeting lasted longer than expected, but it went well, so I was about to go home in a fabulous mood. Alas, but I won't darken your homecoming with my presence. Please excuse me. Damn, bro. Come back home, get roasted by some fucking dude you never met before. <laughs> Dog, that's insane. The bandaged man, Goto Saiki, leaves the parlor, his lips curled in a sarcastic smile. He's like, well, fuck that dude, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I bite my lip thinking of the word Sakai. Uh, sa uh, almost a Sakai. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, huh? Uh, the word Saiki used. Failure. He's right. The world describes my place in this house perfectly. Uh, excuse me. The girl returns exactly ten minutes later. Hmm? Is something the matter, Master Shiki? She must be able to tell that Goto Saiki's words must have affected me. Yeah, it's No, it's it's nothing. Just feel a little overwhelmed, that's all. Thank you for the tea. It was delicious. <laughs> well, aren't you a flatterer? Thank you for the kind words. She smiles bashfully, brightening the mood of the room. Anyway, thank you for waiting. Mistress Aki has concluded her business, so please come with me to her office. We ascend the large staircase in the lobby to the second floor. Akiya's office, the heart of the Tono family. I was never allowed to enter Makihisa's office when I was a child. Hold on. It's already cleared my throat there. Oh, I still feel a little, what's it called there? A room occupied by other uh, each generation's family head. And that room now belongs to my sister. <clears throat> In stark contrast to the white of the parlor, the office is colored a dark red. Luxurious curtains line the windows. A deep crimson carpet, immaculately... Uh, God damn, hold on. There we go. Immaculately kept is placed on the floor. There we go. The refined air to the room is thick with a sense of history. This is where Makihisa Tono once presided as head of the family, and now it's where Akia will carry the burden forward. Master Shiki, mistress. 
Thank you. You may return to your duties, Kohaku. Understood. Please excuse me. Hey, we need to meet the... Okay, I'm gonna say second best girl, because... I play Akia in Melty Blood, so... She's definitely one of my favorite characters. Though, I will say... Uh, we'll see it a little bit later on in the story. I think they toned it down for this particular version of the game. I know in OG it was a little kind of... Uh, but she kind of had a brother complex in the OG one. I'm pretty sure she still has it here in the remake, but we'll see. Hopefully they toned it down because that was insane in the OG Tsukihime, bro. I'm telling you, that was, that shit's insane. And again, I, Aki is one of my favorite characters, but that's like one of the one things about her that I don't like. There we go. Goggle gives me a slight bow before exiting the room. Hey, he's weird. The people left in the room are myself and two girls I don't recognize. It has been a while, hasn't it? The dark-haired girl casts a dignified gaze at me as she speaks. My head is blank. The gears in my brain have stopped turning. All I managed to do was nod and agree. I'm pathetic, though I suppose this may be understandable. She looks so different from how I remember her. Shiki, is there something you find disagreeable here? The black-haired girl narrows her eyes as she were measuring up a stranger. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Nothing coherent escapes my lips as my mind struggles to catch up. I'm still trying to figure out if she really is my sister or not, even though she clearly has accepted who I am. It seems your condition is as poor as they say. Would you like to rest before I speak with you? That would be a waste of a, a terrible waste of time. She frowns. Her words seem to have more bite to them than I expected. No, I, I feel fine. I'm, I'm just surprised at how much you've changed. Of course I've changed. It's been seven years, and I was only a child then. You, on the other hand, are just as I remember. Are, are, are just as I remember you, my dear brother. Uh, I... I stammer, crushed under the weight of her quite, uh, quiet ferocity. I feel bad. After all this time. It hadn't occurred, even, it hadn't even occurred to me to think about how Aki may have changed. I only thought of her as a little girl who used to follow me around. The last seven years hadn't been, uh, had only been hard on me. I'm an idiot for it's only think, oh, damn, I'm only, I'm an idiot for it's only sinking now that she's right in front of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, I didn't thought through things. Or things through. Even so, you've really changed a lot, Akia. You've become even more beautiful. Clearly, uh, clearer words finally filtered their way out. Thank you. You look much the same as you did. Akia speaks coldly, her eyes closed. Well, I didn't expect something like this. She must resent me for leaving the family. A silence falls over us as we take a second to study one another. I was unable to say anything worthwhile to a sister I hadn't seen in seven years. Akia stares at me with a guarded expression, expecting me as if I were some intruder, though to her, I may very well be. Well then, 
体調が良いのなら話を済ませましょう。If you're feeling up to it, then let's get it over with. Or let's get this over with, shall we? 今回の移転について、詳しい事情は聞いていますか Have you heard the details behind the reason for your move? いや、詳しい事情は何も。いいから屋敷に帰ってこいって話だけだ。親父が亡くなったことは新聞で知ったけど。No, nothing. All I heard was that I was to come back here. I learned, our,、uh, I learned of our father's death from the newspaper. It's not all surprising that the death of someone presiding over a massive conglomerate would make the business section of most papers. We live in a world where a son, disowned by his family, learns of his father's death on the internet. The news reached me after his funeral had already happened. Like I was a complete stranger. My apologies. I should have sent the word of his passing. Akia lowers her head quietly. Her hair is beautiful. But that's not important right now. My wording was the problem here. So, I'm not going to be able to do that. You don't have to feel bad about that. I'm not like me going would have brought him back to life. Besides, you, should have, you saved me from having to deal with our,、uh, our relatives. I can't imagine they would be kind to me. So, this is Is that so? So, I'm not going to be able to. It puts me at ease to hear you say that. I'm lucky to have such an understanding sister. A funeral is an occasion that offers closure to those unable to accept the passing of a loved one. My relationship with my father ended a long time ago. I had no obligation or desire to attend something like that for Makihisa. I haven't once thought about how I'd say goodbye to him. そうなると誰が俺を呼び戻したんだ But if that's the case, then who called me back? 親父の遺言ってわけでもないんだろ。There's no way it was in his will, right? 兄さんをこちらに呼び戻したのは私の決定です。I was the one who called you back here. いつまでもトーナの長男が有馬の家に預けられているのはおかしいでしょどんな欠陥があろうとあなたはトーナの人間なのですから。We can't have the eldest son of the, of the Tono family stay with the Arimas forever, now can we? Regardless of your defect, you're still a Tono. I accept the word defect without a second thought. My father used it often. It doesn't bother me anymore, and if anything, she's right. お父様。トーノマキッサが亡くなった以上、トーノの血筋は私と兄さんだけです。Now that father, now that Makihisa Tono is dead, you and I are the, all that remain of the Tono family. 血は守られなければいけません。Our blood must be protected. お父様がどのような考えで兄さんを有馬の家に預けたかは知りませんが、そのお父様も。I do not know why father decided to have you stay with the Arima family, but he's no longer with us. Without a clear reason, it is only natural that you would be placed under the supervision of your direct family. Akia's words were quiet but firm. As if she were shutting down any possible object objections I could have before I even raised them. Supervision, huh? What would have happened if I refused to come back? So, I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm s You do not have that kind of freedom, nor does the Arima family have any right to deny the main family. 
少なくとも成人し社会的に自立するまではあなたは遠野家に隷属する義務があります。Both you and I were raised by the Tono family. You have a duty to this family until you come of age, at the very least. Makihisa used to say the same thing. The same, well, Makihisa used to say the same thing. Parents are responsible for raising their children and then preparing them for society. Just like any good business, a family couldn't be sending defective products to the market. It will only serve to harm their good name and degrade a society as a whole. An individual unwilling to remove such a product has no right to be a parent, and a child unable to bear the responsibilities given onto them has no place in the family. Makihisa Tono spoke of this many times to Aki and I, almost like it was、uh, more for him than us. Dad did always say that. That's why you had me come back then, huh? To recall. She cuts me off without any consideration for her poor brother, disowned by his narrow minded father. You are the eldest son of the Tono family, regardless of the circumstances. So, I need a reason. Do I need any other reason? Just another day of cleaning up loose ends for the head of the Tono family. I'm glad you understand. I'm sure I don't need to point out, but as the head of the family, my word is final. You may be my older brother, but your position is beneath mine in this house. Nisa, I'm sure I don't need to point out, but as the head of the family, my word is final. You may be my older brother, but your position is b e Shiki, I respect you as my brother, but as the master of this house, I must also treat you as an asset. Damn. <laughs> First it was the father, now it's the sister that treats him like he's an object. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor Shiki. <laughs> I would ask that you forget the past seven years and obey the will of the family. Akiya speaks without emotion. This is, a common, or this is a command from the head of the house rather than my sibling. It carries an air of cold detachment. But. <sighs> sure, I guess. That makes it easy to understand, huh? Thank you for being clear. This is the natural way of things. There's no reason for me to be offended. Do you truly understand what I'm saying? I do believe I just told you that my position outranks yours in this house. I understand, but I don't know. I know. And I have no problem with that. It's only fair given the circumstances. Mushiro, Nanan can ski hold I need to take our any. Emoto to stay kitchen to lay out the creator Akihani, Kansha did it. If anything, I appreciate that you still consider me your brother. After all, I voted all my responsibilities for years. Kero, Akihano Kangaiwa Betsinste, Sin Sekino Renchuma Yoku not took Stano. Oreo Arimano Yeni Azkerote Idastano. Though I will say, I am surprised you managed to convince our relatives, though. Weren't they the ones who wanted, me to,、uh, wanted to send me away in the first place? So, this is the case. 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 Indeed. But I run this family now. Any opposition was quashed immediately. この件に関して意見を挟むということは、私に、ひいては遠野に逆らうことだと明言しましたから
I also warned them that any questioning of my decision would be seen as a direct challenge to my authority. I'm stunned. Even Makihisa wasn't able to ignore relatives, but Akia was able to persuade them. Now, if anything, she'd probably argue with them into submission. I see. Akia has grown in more ways than one, and as her brother, it's a little terrifying. Nisa? Shaky? You seem distracted. Is something the matter? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm just blown away. They really recognize you as the head of the family, huh? That's right. If you don't want to be able to call your mother, you won't be able to call of course they do. I wouldn't be able to bring you here or back here if they didn't. Let us return to the topic at hand. Starting today, you will live in the mansion, which means you will follow our rules. I hope you're prepared to act with more suitable manners from now on. Oh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I don't think that's possible, Akia. It's too late for me to go back to acting all proper now. You will find a way. You are not a child. I will not accept any. I will not. I will not listen to you complain before you even make an attempt. それとも私にできたことが兄さんにはできないとおっしゃるのですか ？Unless you think you're incapable of something that I accomplished. Akia shoots a frigid glare in my direction. It pierces through me like an icicle. There's no doubt about it. Seven years worth of resentment is finally blasted in my way. Or blasted my way now. I understand. I'll do what I can. Do what you can. Quite the ambiguous answer. Do you think you'll be rewarded for trying? What I'm asking is for results. I'm, not, I'm, I'm unable to form any kind of response in the face of her ruthless assault. Very well. You have lived freely for a significant period of time. I cannot expect you to change your lifestyle immediately. I will grant you a week. You will do everything you can to mend your ways in that time. At the very least, I expect your old habits gone by the end of the month, or by the month's end. I don't think I'll be getting any more time after that. This must be how Aki makes uh, makes compromises. I assure you, this isn't asking much. I'm pretty sure it is, dog. Like, you're asking this man to be like, yo, those seven years? Gone. Don't, don't reflect on that shit no more, okay? This is here and now. If I would, bro, I, I like, uh, Tono, uh, Shiki's been a little too timid here, man. Like, I would, like, he needs to speak up a little bit more, in my opinion, dog. Because I would have a few choice words. Not to my sister, but more to about father and what I feel about this damn mansion, you know? I, I would just say, like, I don't belong here. I don't know what the hell you want me to say. I don't belong here. Yeah, you brought me back, and I thank you for that, but this hasn't been my home in seven years. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. 
sure, I, I'll live here, but I can never really consider this place a home, you know, because not only was, I don't want to say mistreated, but basically, you know, I, I don't know what the hell the phrase I'm trying to say is, but, you know, basically, I was trying to be, I was basically molded to be the heir of a clan of this entire, you know, family clan. And then next, you know, I'm basically disowned by my father and living with another family who actually gives a shit about me for the past seven years. And you're just asking me to forget about all that. Sorry. I, I, I don't think I could. I don't think I could. Like, I don't care. Even if you are the head of the family, bro. Cause even then I'm pretty sure right then and there, like, Obviously, that's not the way the game's going to go, but he could, a person IRL could say, well, guess what? I disown the the name, you know, the Tono name. I don't want to be part of this family anymore. It's like, look, you're my sister. I love and care for you. And I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you for the seven years, for, you know, damn near seven years. But this is, I can't really consider this place home anymore, you know? But hey, that, that would, that's just me. That's what I would say. I think again, I think Shiki's been a little too timid here, in my opinion. You and I are the only ones living in this mansion. I assured you would be able to relax more without the nitpicking without the nitpicking of our relatives. I found the meddlesome, meddlesome enough as it was, so I had them leave. Wait a second. Had them leave, then. Hold on. You kicked out all of our relatives out of the mansion? I didn't even realize that was possible. Yes. Please pay no mind to it. There were little more than parasites leeching off the good graces of our father. I would have them leave sooner or later. See, so then again, like she says, R, but like, no, he's your father. He's not mine. That fucker did not want nothing to do with me. I don't give a fuck that he's dead, okay? I really don't, <laughs> okay? I never had a good relationship with that man, so when he died, guess what? I felt fucking nothing. You know what I did? I took my adoptive, my foster sister, we went to the fucking park and played soccer or something like that. I don't know what Shiki and Miyako did during that time, but I'm assuming that'd be like one of the things, but like, <laughs> that'd be fun. I don't give a shit about the old man, dude. <laughs> As for the servants, I let most go, but I made sure to keep two to attend to our personal needs. Isn't this a huge problem? Won't they tear you apart at the next family meeting if you keep doing whatever you want? Oh, please. Isn't this preferable to the alternative of having the mansion crawling with people? Hmm. She's definitely right about that. Are you sure about this? Even Dad couldn't go against them. Will they really let you do as you please? You're right. Father allowed himself to be pressured into sending you to the Aryama family. But I've despised our relatives since I was a child. I will not allow myself to be bullied by them. But Akia. Come off it. You don't need to worry about me. 
兄さんはこれからのご自分の生活を案じてくださいいろいろ大変なことになるって目に見えているんだから Please focus on your own situation. I don't imagine this will be easy for you. Akia says it's curtly, forcing the conversation into another direction. I believe you understand your current、uh, circumstances, but it seems your manners still need work. Though, I suppose that,、uh, that's to be expected. That is why I made arrangements. If there's, any,、uh, if there's ever anything you're unsure about, please ask this girl here. Hisui. Hisui. The twin to Kohaku. Akia, without turning, calls to the girl waiting at the back of the room. The girl named Hisui takes a step forward and gives a bow. It's a polite, though emotionless bow, like servitude made manifest. This girl is Hisui. Hisui is one of our housemaids. She will act as your personal attendant. I presume this is acceptable. So she's another one of the housekeepers. Wait, what? My attendant? You mean. Yes, to be plain, she is your servant. I don't believe it. Both Aki and the girl look like nothing out of the ordinary has been said. Wait, hold on, just hold on a second. Isn't this a bit much? I could take care of myself. You'll be making your own meals and doing your own laundry, then, right? He's like, I fucking did that when I was at the Arima house, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I know how to cook. I know how to fucking clean. I know how to do my own clothing. It's, it's crazy. Come on now. Aki is sure, ha- sure is on point. Regardless, Now that you have returned to the mansion, you'll,、uh, you will obey my commands. I do not know what your life was like with the Arimas, but here you are the eldest son of the Tono family. I expect you to begin、uh, acting as such. <sighs> My gaze, wander,、oh, uh, my gaze wanders over to the girl clad in made attire. Hisui shows little emotion on her face. She looks like a doll as, her,、uh, as she returns、uh, my gaze. Now, Hisui, please escort my brother to his room. Damn, okay, I see. This boy is nothing more than a lost kitten that doesn't know、uh, right from left. We wouldn't want him losing his way in this big mansion. He's like, I fucking know where my room is at. God damn. Like, look, I know I haven't been here for seven years. I still vaguely remember things. <laughs> oh, shit. Of course, Mr. Sakia. He sweet bows to Akia and walks towards me quietly. She looks towards me, but her gaze is fixed in the way that ensures our eyes doesn't meet. Her steps are measured, but far from slow. I can tell she's done this for a long time. Oh, and Shiki, you may be the oldest, but there are places in, the, in this mansion where you're not welcome. Do be careful. Again, a prisoner is on home, bro. A prisoner is on home. If you can call that. Okay, 
Isui has also been ordered to protect you, so please uh, be sure to heed her advice. Protect me? Don't you mean monitor me? I'll relieve Hisui of this duty if you prove to be capable of conducting yourself appropriately. Until dinner, then. Akia must be busy if she can't spare any more time than this. I will show you to your room, Master Shiki. Hisui moves towards the door, paying my obvious confusion no mine. <sighs> I sigh as I leave the office. Alright, well I think that's where we're going to end it today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going we're gonna to do another save here, but there we go. We meet, we met homegirl Akia, Kohaku, and Hisui. We got... The head of the house and the twins. So let's go. Let's go. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It is your boy, White Album. I will see you guys with some more Tsukihime. Take care.